Hey, what's up? I'm Michael, and I am going to show you a neat little trick that I figured out how to do with HopPod Capture and using multiple audio tracks with it. Uh, this will allow you to actually do commentary that you can mix at a later time, mix the audio levels. Unfortunately, the video that I, I've already done the video for it, and the beginning of the video about the first 10 to 15 seconds messed up, and I had to, well, it didn't even record. So, about 15 seconds into it, it picks up, and that's where this video is going to fade into. So, if it sounds a little bit weird right there at the beginning, that's why it's like that. But anyway, I hope this helps somebody because. I looked all over the internet for this and I never could figure out what you were supposed to do. Uh, you don't need to do this if you use Sony Vegas or I believe it's called Adobe Premieres. I've never used their um, video edit and stuff so I'm not sure what their software for it's called. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go on and cut this off and it'll fade into that next video. Let me know if it works for you, if it helps you out. Just leave me a comment and let me know something. I am going to show you a neat little trick you can do if you're using uh, HopPod Capture. The new version is 1032069. And what you want to do is when you come into it, go to Advanced, go to Audio Encoder, and click this box that says Use Multiple Audio Tracks for Recordings. And you click OK and when you do that I'm going to click cancel because mine was already checked and if you click that and hit OK you restart your HopPod capture and then you're ready to go so what that means is the game the voice and the PC audio will all be on a separate track now and I'm going to, this is going to mess up the audio a little bit because that I am doing the screen capture and using the microphone that's being used in this. So what you do though, you hit record and now what I'm saying is actually being recorded to the voice track the game is being recorded to the game track and what I'm going to do is to give myself a visual cue I'm going to say 3, 2, 1, now and I can stop it and I should have a video and I can shut this and now this is it. I can actually open it here in VLC. And you notice that there's no voiceover in it. And what to hear the voiceover, you go to audio, audio track, track two. Track. The game is being recorded to the game track. And what I'm going And you can hear that it's there. So I'm going to shut the second instance of this. Now, what you want to do, and I found this out by going to this website, and the address is here. It's HTTPS, and it's wiki.videoland.org slash VLC underscore command dash line underscore help slash and if you go there and just search for audio track then you will find the same thing I did and it says audio track equals or audio dash track equals and then you put an integer and that means that's the stream number of the audio track to use from zero to whatever you might have however many you may have so when you're doing program stuff the first thing is never one it's always zero the first iteration of anything is going to be zero 
So this works the same way I believe and what I can do is copy this code here the colon audio dash track equals one and that is because our audio track is actually audio track two so the ID number for it should be one we go to media and hit convert save we're going to open the video file itself in there we're going to hit show more options and highlight this thing that says file caching equals 300 and you want to just delete that and then hit control V to paste it to where it gives you that audio track equals one and in this command line you put instead of the dashes or anything you put that colon and that will do what you need to so now you hit convert save and you on this line or this page here or um I can't remember what they called this screen you just choose one of your audio options uh I've been doing Vorbis because I'm using uh, Corel Video Studio however uh, you might want to use an mp3 Vorbis I don't think will work in Windows Movie Maker so you probably want to do an mp3 if you're going to do Windows Movie Maker so I'm going to go on again and choose Vorbis and I'm going to choose a destination file and I'm going to do is say kh test and just hit start it's going to minimize and when you pull it back up you'll notice that bar and when that bar is done then your file is created and you can see it here now to test this I'm going to hit open file and open that and now what I'm saying is actually being recorded so you can see that actually did work and now what I can do is go into my Corel video studio and I'm just going to I'm going to open this up I'm going to drag both of these in here the video and the audio track and before I go any further I will say if you have Sony Vegas or I believe Adobe Premiere then you should be able to do this without having to export that audio track at all those two I believe are supposed to actually go ahead and be able to edit multiple audio tracks uh, besides those two I've not seen anything that you can so I'm gonna pull this down here and you'll see that the video it has the game audio and now I'm gonna pull this down here and push it all the way over and now make sure I hit project you can see I have both now and now what I'm saying is actually being recorded to the voice track the game is being recorded to the game track and if you want to actually edit the levels what you do is you click on the track itself uh, I would go back to the very beginning you click the track itself say you want say the game is too loud and you can't hear your commentary just go back to the beginning of the file and pull it down a little bit if you want to and I, I've been an audio producer for a while now and every six decibels in audio terms is twice as loud or softer um, it's either if you plus six it it's going to be twice as loud as it was uh, if you negative six it is twice as quiet as it was so now I'm going to choose this one you can actually go back and forth by clicking on these 
as well. Um, and so I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to pull it up to plus six. And then I'm going to choose this one again. And it's it looks like it's wanting to go on and put them both the same way. So I'm going to try to pull that down one more time. And I need to do it as a project. So that's that's what's wrong with it probably. What I'm saying is actually being recorded to the voice track. As you can hear that's actually louder than it was. So if I go back here, I can double click on this file as well. And go to attributes and I can say I want this to be 50%. This is just another way to do this. Um, and you just hit, I believe you have to click this, I'm not sure, but you go on and do that, and then you can do the same thing for this one. Just say you want it to be a little bit louder, or just say 120. Uh, so you can, I mean, you can make it pretty loud. Uh, I'm going to put it at, 200% just to see what it does so that's probably a better way than using the surround sound mixer that surround sound mixer has always worked for me before um, but anyway I'm going to go back uh, I'm going to hit project and let you see how it sounds saying is actually being recorded to the voice track and you can see that you can actually hear that now the problem is when you record a single audio track you're most likely going to get something that's going to sound like this if you don't know what you're doing then you're probably going to get something that is really low like this So that's the advantage of having dual audio tracks in it. Um, another thing you can do is actually use uh, something like Audacity and you can set up your... Let my phone stop ringing and I'll finish what I'm saying. Anyway... Finally, it stopped. Uh, what you can do is use something like Audacity and record a second audio track as you're recording the the video parts. And what you would do from there is actually take uh, at the beginning of your video, and as soon as you start your video, you go on and you start your video. Or your audio recording as well after that and what you need to do is make a loud clap or what I like to do is three claps and I can look at the waveform here on the video um, editor if I go into sound mixer mode and I can actually line those up and I show how to do that in some of my other videos so I'm not going to show it again but uh, that's that's the same thing as the that thing where I was telling how to do the the screen or not the screen capture but the um, webcam capture with the life cam and with an external microphone so if you want to know how to do that then that's how you do it uh, I don't know that this will this method will work always with pop pod capture because they've taken it out before 
and they just now did put it back in and this release I believe but anyway I hope that this helps um, I know I, I was racking my brain trying to figure out how to get this to work and I finally did figure it out so I hope it it does help everybody who's been trying to figure out what to do about it and that's it I wanted to show that I actually could do this in Windows Movie Maker and what you need to do in VLC is instead of exporting to VOG or the the um Og Vorbis uh, what you need to do is export to MP3 not the one that says MP3 MP4 but the one that just says MP3 and so now I'm going to add my video you can see it here and now I'm going to come here to where it says record narration go to the arrow down hit add sound and choose your mp3 and I'm going to hit cancel on that uh, I am just to show what you can do though uh, I believe you go to edit and okay if you come here to where it says project you can hit no emphasis you can hit emphasize music emphasize narration or emphasize video if you add that file as a music file then go to music if you want it if you add it the way I did as a narration and go to emphasize narration and it should play like this and now what I'm saying is actually being recorded to the voice and if I was to hit video track, the game is being recorded to the game track. You can hear that you can not hear the voiceover as good. So go to the emphasize narration. Uh, I'm not sure how to unlock the audio mix if there is something you can unlock for that. However, what I would do is if you have a narration and you want it a little bit louder than it's actually got it. You go to the where it says narration tools options and just come over here where it says narration volume and you can adjust that all you want if you want to do the uh, video volume you go to edit and then you do the same thing with that you can down it or up it uh, for the music I cannot remember to be honest with you how you do the music I believe it adds another tab over here and gives you another option or something uh, but anyway that is how you do that and I'll put it back here and let it play so you can hear it and now what I'm saying is actually being recorded to the voice track the game is being recorded to the game track and what I'm gonna do is to give myself a visual cue and you can see it it's exactly where I had it and everything uh, in the other one and usually you'd have something that syncs up but you don't as long as the files both start at the same time then you don't need anything that actually syncs up so anyway this is the actual end of the video and thank you for watching I hope that this will help as well if you want to do this type of thing for a with free software